Do you remember the crazy over the top monster overbuilt knives uh, trend that was going on in the knife world? Well, Pepperidge Farms remembers, and if you're old enough, you do too. So let's take a look at some of these from above. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it has come time to talk about monster overbuilt knives. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. These are some big knives. Now, these two are more along the lines of being a normal average size EDC. This is the Proponent, well over 10 ounces. This is the Kodiak, also over 10 ounces. The PMP Big Boy, I can't remember the weight on it. This one is coming in at about five ounces. This is the PMP Aries. I love the PMP stuff. And these knives are a throwback to a fad in the in the knife community and the knife industry, which was the big overbuilt knives. Not all the overbuilt knives were, were these 10 ounce monsters. I think this is 10 and this is like 10 and five eighths. This is 10 and a quarter. Um, and like I said, this is well over five ounces, but not all of them were that this monster here. But there were a lot of things going on with the knife uh, in general being like overbuilt and the problems that they had were numerous one 10 ounces in your pocket you're not going to carry that that is that is ridiculous the over th the oversized blade stock and thickness and then substandard grinds now i'm gonna say that the ones here none of them are like some of the other ones i've seen where they're just they're they're a hat they're they're a they're a bat with an edge this actually has been done pretty well you guys have heard me talk about this pmp knives kodiak um, this one is the Artisan Proponent done by Dirk, designed by Dirk Pinkerton. This one has a really good cutting profile because they did maximize the blade grind. But you couldn't say that about all, a lot of the other overbuilt. This is the PMP Aries, which is an actually really good functional user knife. And then this is the PMP Big Boy, which is absolutely an awesome, awesome slicer for as big as it is. Managing that, getting you a big, beefy overbuilt feeling knife but still being a cutter was really cool but these these knives even as light as this one is is something that is is gonna limit the places you can carry and things you want to do and i think that's kind of why the the overbuilt knife craze and the giant knife craze kind of went away a little bit just for a little bit of perspective this is the Wii knives oao which is not a small knife it's a full-size folder you can see compared to all these it's the little boy on the block it's not a big knife compared to these. And this is more the direction that most people are going now. These are the knives that most people are going to carry. Something that is still got a good blade length, but not be insane like this. Now, I have to say, I do absolutely love these still. Like, there's still something fun and goofy to add to your collection. And like I said, these ones are not being horribly done with exceptionally thick blade stock and stuff like that. Now, there are some companies out there that are still making insanely large knife. Uh, Dan Sullivan over at Sullivan Knife, DSK. Dan makes some monster folding knives, just massive, like you, like some of the biggest folding knives I've ever seen. And there's still some other companies that do that. And sometimes that's what you want. I keep these in my collection because they're fun. So, but the fact is, even as, even with this up on here on the board, you can see how much smaller it is. A lot of times the typical thing I'm going to carry is even smaller than that. This is something I'm typically going to carry. This is a, this is like a three inch blade or even smaller, something like this, which is even smaller than that. This is, this is a 2.6 inch blade on this one. There are a lot of knives out there that have started to be done so well and be built so well that you don't need these. Back in the day, you would get these because you knew they weren't going to break. But now companies have upped their construction standards and their methods where you can get a good, solid, solid, hard-use knife in a small package. And it just it's just fun to look back at some of these monster massive knives and just remember how much fun they were uh and then like i said there are some out there like these two that are still really large knives this is coming up on nine inches this one's coming up on nine inches but these are really super functional this is one of my favorite edc knives but like i said these aren't the things you're going to be able to carry in a pair of shorts these aren't the things you're going to carry to the beach with you these aren't the things that you're going to carry anywhere where there's anyone that might be sensitive about what's in your pocket so just a little fun video. It's not going to be real long. I thought it would be fun to look back at these in, with enjoyment.
like I said, this gets carried a lot. The The reason that these two are out is because, well, they haven't been out of their cases for a while and I wanted to start carrying them and this gave me an excuse. So guys, that's pretty much it. And I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with you guys. Uh, it was just absolutely just for my own enjoyment. So uh, let's turn us around, do some final thoughts, send you guys out about your day. Hey guys, there was a weird time. That was a weird time in, in the knife world. And like I said, I still dig them. Like this thing just makes me giggle and I do like it. I just have to recognize that there are so much... There are so many better knives out there than the great big over the top ones. So this was absolutely just a for fun video, as they like to say in the industry, in the in the movie industry. It was a passion project because I don't care if anybody watches it. It was just fun. So, guys, you know what to do. Sponsor links are down below. Coffee Brand Coffee Temper Trail have got discounts built into theirs. Uh, I've got a discount code of Crazy Sharp that will save you 40 percent at Crazy sharp, all lowercase, all one word. Uh, saves you 40% at Beyond EDC, 10% at Rosecraft Blades, 10% at Farron Forge Knife Works, and 10% at Katsu Knives. I got links to most of the major vendors down below. If you're going to buy knives, please use those. Uh, I also have got an Amazon store down below in the description. Uh, take that link, pin it to your browser, use for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. I've got a membership where I do exclusive content. I do giveaways. There's a premium sharpening tutorial series, and there's a private Discord I also have built a public Discord. It's in the description down below. It says join the community. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.